What's everybody? This is Marzi and I'm here with some Reddit stories. And in this Reddit store, we got a little bit of relationship problems, relationship advice. So let's jump right into it. But before we actually end up jumping into it, make sure you guys have a like, comment, subscribe. Subscribing is free. Come join me on this journey. I'm on the road to 1k subscribers, y'all. So come join me on this journey, man. I'm trying to make it there before the end of this year. Looks like we're on the right path, but who knows? But let's jump right into the story. So we got Girlfriend wanted to live together, but changed her mind and bought a house 300 kilometers away. Okay, let's jump right into it, y'all, because that sounds that sounds a little bit crazy, but let's see. Let's see what happened. If it's it you, is it her? I, 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 we got to figure it out. My girlfriend, 29, and me, 25, have been dating for a year. After two to three months in relationship, I got a PhD offer 200 kilometers away. Since she was between jobs, she decided to move out to the same city. We both got separate apartments to make sure we don't cling too much to each other, which was our fear. After a few months, she kept pushing me to move in since her rent was expensive. I kept postponing this because I felt that that was kind of lost, that we kind of lost ourselves in the relationship and didn't make many new friends, which I communicated. So I wanted to wait a bit and take things slower. Due to the age gap, I always felt that she is rushing everything while I'm slowing it down. However, I'm dealing with anxiety and often when she would go on holiday, our contact would decrease a lot. One to two texts a day and my anxiety would kick in. It happened two times that I got jealous or mad that she kept that she is not reaching out enough and she always kept setting ultimatums that I must fix it in therapy and that she cannot handle this behavior one more time. Anyway, it happened one more time and she decided that she doesn't feel secure anymore and that she doesn't want to live with me. Due to her money issues, she needs to move out. She also hates the city, so she decided to move again 300 kilometers away in the city where she studied, has friends in, and feels like at home. This happened three weeks ago. She already got a mortgage and already bought a house. She's moving in november and wants to do ldr um i am extremely upset and anxious since i didn't see this coming i'm happy for her house but still i feel like she gave up on us she always pushed moving and so much and now she decided to step back and blame everything on my clinginess anxiety and jealousy okay she says she needs to move to make herself happy but why is she still with me i asked her and she said i think you can change i don't feel good about us i cry a lot um and get sad every time we hang i don't know if i should break up i don't trust her anymore maybe i just need um maybe i just need to where did i go oh to focus on my life and step down from this relationship what do you people think um my girlfriend and then he basically explains it a little bit more here uh, or a little like a summary my girlfriend pushed me to move in changed her mind due to my anxiety and jealousy in three weeks she got a mortgage about a house she thinks we should stay together because i can change shall i break up am i being manipulated um okay so based on that story it seemed like she moved out there to potentially for you guys to basically move you know further into the relationship while you wanted to take it slow which necessarily taking it slow isn't a bad idea uh but the fact that she was you know get, like you're saying she gave you ultimatums for your behavior and she decided to push back on that and just go do her own thing back in her own city um while still basically being with you with the hopes that you change that sounds like a reason like that sounds like how people normally um act in situations like that now my thing is depending on necessarily because you make you're making it seem like she gave you ultimatums on behavior that was normal now if it's like she gave you ultimatums on bad behavior and is choosing to distance and just be in another city uh ultimately i don't think she made a bad decision here i, I, I honestly don't see um the problem and also too she's waiting for you to commit and you're not committing right uh you know you you keep postponing the fact that this you don't want this relationship to move so fast and maybe that's just not what she's looking for maybe at that moment you know she's looking for someone who's ready to get to that next step she doesn't have to wait for you she's not obligated to wait for you you know what i'm saying and she obviously moved there to eventually hopefully be able to get closer to you and move in with you and you're choosing not to so like i said since there is no obligation there on her end she probably did give up on y'all and that's okay to give up on y'all because you're not ready to commit you know what i'm saying so ultimately if that if she wants to move back to her own city she already has her house you know what i'm saying like she's doing what's best for her because you kept making her do what was best for you right it was always on your time everything was always about going slow you didn't take nothing fast you didn't take any of her advice you decided to always do what you wanted now she's doing what she wants and you're being upset about it right um so i feel like ultimately 
you know if you want to break up you guys obviously have two different you're, you're not compatible there you know what i'm saying like i'm not going to say you have to be with her but you know you guys aren't compatible in that way you want to move fast i mean you want to move slow she wants to move fast let her move on let her move on to somebody who's willing to commit somebody who's willing to actually take her seriously instead of postponing a, a relationship that is already there y'all been together for a year how slow do you want to go like that that i don't know that's just like i i don't get it um but let's just jump right into these comments we got here she was wasting her time and money in a remote city waiting for you to finally be able to properly commit exactly you weren't and were happy with keeping her at arm's length exactly hell she moved cities for you in fact saw you i mean you in fact saw this coming actions and then actions have consequences she's not giving up fully on you just yet can't imagine why she should break it off um exactly However, you obviously can't cope with relationship progression, so you should break it off and learn from the whole experience. Exactly. That's that's just the problem. Like, a year? You still are going that slow after a year? Like, I mean, people can move on their own time, but, bro, she she did all that for you, and you, cho you chose to keep doing what you wanted and to no sacrifices for her. Good for her, man. Says, I only need to read the subject line to know this relationship is over. Someone put here, um, you need to do some work reframing this how did you not see this coming someone told you quite clearly that she was going that what was going to happen if you push their boundaries you push their boundaries and the thing happened why are you confused have these kind of boundary pushings without consequence behavior been modeled for you before exactly so because uh, they were talking about the ultimatum part right there someone put you didn't want to move in with her but you expected her to text you constantly exactly i'm telling you sounds like you pushed her away and blamed your issues on her so she decided not to wait for you anymore um it says i didn't see this coming you should have when she gave you the ultimatums she gave up on us it says she didn't if she was still willing to do long distance she did stop wasting her own money where she isn't happy and has a relationship that wasn't progressing and then he put i don't trust her anymore it says kind of seems unfair given that you described what you'd have described but hey you know you told her to wait she's willing to wait just not where she's unhappy exactly i feel like that's um a crazy mindset he really tried to sit there and make it seem like he he was the good guy in that situation it's like bro i i don't know i do not know i feel like that relationship definitely needs to definitely uh i mean it could be worked out you know what i'm saying but if he can realize that you know he wasn't making no sacrifices he wasn't putting no effort and she was doing a bunch of the sacrifice of the effort of the you know wanting to progress the relationship and you just couldn't but all right guys i'm gonna end this video right here hope you guys enjoyed make sure you guys leave a like comment subscribe 